So what you're looking at today is a very tired Broken Kings employee. Uh, Castle Conflict is, according to my to-do list, almost feature complete. There are some things in here. Well, all this stuff right here is kind of, will maybe add it if we have time. This is my big important task remaining. And basically what's happened is in this, um, oh, there's nothing down there that helped me demonstrate. In this update, we have added a ton of new units. So if you look at our, okay, we've added 10 new units. If you look at our graphics for our units, you can see not only do we have a bunch of new units in here, the one here before, you'll notice these guys are all new, 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 new. And this gigantic guy taking up a lot of space, new. We've got not a lot of new units. This has reached the point where we've had to increase our textures, which were previously 512 by 512 because they ended here and here, to 1024 by 1024. This makes them take up four times as much space in memory. If you look at the original texture, you'll see there's 115 kilobytes. So we thought we were fine. Furthermore, there is a brand new unit skin in this update. So you click here, and you can see we got modified versions of each of our units for our Egyptian skin. And so where before we always had this 512 by 512 texture loaded in memory, and it was taking something like, or it was about a 30 kilobyte file, and we didn't think it really mattered at all. It wasn't really that hard to manage. But now we've got two different files, and you obviously I have one for each player, so one for the computer and one for the, you know, the actual player himself. So the end result being that all of a sudden we can have up to four of these textures in memory, and that's pretty ridiculous. So we have to learn how to manage memory a little bit more smartly. We've been working on that but I recently made a very interesting discovery. All right, I don't think it's actually started. If I run with object allocations, don't know why I'm gonna click on that, it always decides to slow down for a minute. This is running on my iPhone. So you're not gonna see what's going on because I'm not gonna bother looking. Basically what I'm doing right here is I'm looking at this line right here. And this tells me how much memory is being loaded into my app. Now the iPhone, the typical safe range is 20, maybe 25 megabytes, and your app's not gonna crash. Now, as you can see, we've already reached that and we're not even done loading. Because if you take a peek, still on the loading screen. And this is actually gonna fail up before it gets out of the loading screen. And the loading screen, there you go, up to 35 megabytes. This is dangerous right here. This basically means your app is likely to crash and it's still loading. So there we go, crashes at about 40 megabytes for this app, that's on my phone. You can see apps no longer running. Actually, I don't know if you can see that or not. So hopefully when I'm editing the video, that's not gonna look really dumb. Now, the nice thing is that Instruments is an amazing tool. So I can click on here, I can see which objects were taking up the most memory. And you can see that over half, well, approximately half of this memory is four megabyte blocks memory of unit malloc That's pretty big. And I looked into that and I discovered that if I look in my call stack, it's actually being called, and I love instruments because if you check this out, you get to see exactly where all these objects were created, you get the call stack to them. And if I look at where my code is, it's when my player skin is being initialized and check the Again, this is really awesome. It tells me exactly how much memory was allocated on each byte, or how much memory is allocated on each line. I can click on this to dig a little bit deeper and see how much is allocated each, in each place here. So I'm seeing that inside uh, load from XML, my sprite definition loader is where a lot of this memory is coming. Now, the interesting thing is that it turns out that the reason that we have these, go back to this view, four megabyte objects going on. These are actually 1024 by 1024 textures. The exact same ones that you're seeing here. Now, the fact that I have 
uh, five of those memory right now is a little bit puzzling because by default, the only textures I'm loading that are 1024 by 1024 are the default unit skins. So the ones that existed before this one. And our buttons, nope, nope, nope. The only one I didn't look at. Our buttons texture, which I don't even know if this is actually a full 1024 by 1024. Yeah, it, oh, 1024 by 512. So this one's only two megabytes in memory. Now, the reason this has caused me problems, the reason that these textures that I thought were 100 kilobytes are taking four megabytes of memory is it turns out how big they are on disk has absolutely no effect on how big they're going to be in RAM. And if I follow these to where they're created, inside of, I believe it's texture2d, I found this line of code. Let's go down one. Okay, I think this might be too far actually. Might be in Atlas Sprite Manager, Texture Manager. My apologies for not knowing the exact line. You can see it's telling me exactly how much memory is loaded from this line. And if I click on this, I even get a call stack to where the most memory was loaded. So 9 megabytes here, 1 here, 1 here, 28 kilobytes here. So it's 10 megabyte 1. My 10 megabyte 1? Wow. It's 10 megabyte 1 is the biggest one we have. And you can see it takes me all the way up to here. Anyways, I'm not finding it exactly, but somewhere inside of Cocos 2D, which is the engine that we use for Cast Conflict, there is a line that Malix uh, allocates memory for the texture. And the formula it's using to know how much memory to take is the width of the texture, so that's 1024, times the height of the texture, so that's 1024 by 1024, times 4, basically a uh, byte for each color channel. So that's the red, the green, the blue and the alpha channel. So if you do your math, 1024 is a kilobyte, times 1024 is a megabyte, times 4 is 4 megabytes. So I'm running into the problem that where I thought these tiny textures were fine, suddenly they're taking 4 megabytes instead of 100 kilobytes. And furthermore, where I previously had two of these textures that were 1 megabyte each, because they're only 512 by 512, it's a quarter of the current four megabyte ones. Now I have four that are four megabytes each. So I've basically gone up from two megabyte memory usage to a potential 60 megabyte memory usage just to have player skins. Now these are the things that typically you would deal with when you create your system floating stuff. But literally the first release of Castle Conflict we wrote, I hadn't used Cocos 2D before. It was my first time and I learned the engine as I was making it. So back then, I wasn't too concerned about loading memory if it was working, and it was working. So what this means for Broken Kings is that basically we have a complete project, a complete product that doesn't run right now. And we get to spend the next couple days, we're hoping it won't take too long, uh, ironing out this issue. So that's pretty much the state of the project right now and I'll update as I learn and discover new things, if I feel like it. That's the wrong stop record button.